Well, Iraq's chief of intelligence swears that his country will retaliate for the U.S. missile raid on Baghdad. Washington says it bombed Saddam Hussein's intelligence center in response to a foiled Iraqi plot to kill former President Bush. However, the White House also had to admit that some civilian areas were also hit. News Force Wendy Rieger reports live from Washington where President Clinton is standing by his decision to open fire. Wendy? President Clinton was talking up the attack today. In fact, he said the U.S. Dealt a, dealt a crippling blow to the Iraqi intelligence service, and he is once again defending his reasons for doing it. I did exactly what I said I'd do in the campaign when confronted by circumstances like this. The evidence was clear, and we took the appropriate action. And, uh, it's what was the, it was the right thing to do for the United States, and I feel quite comfortable with it. President Clinton was unusually chatty at his cabinet meeting this morning. Flanked by his secretaries of state and defense, he once again defended the Baghdad bombing and confirmed First, its success. I want to say that uh, this morning I received uh, a report from the National Security Advisor about the action in Iraq over the weekend, confirming that we did in fact cripple the Iraqi intelligence capacity which was the intent of the action. Since the attack, the U.S. has presented evidence to the U.N. detailing how Iraq was going to kill former President Bush, right down to the design of the bomb. Ambassador Madeleine Albright said it followed an Iraqi blueprint. These are built so identically the same that we are highly confident that this is done by the same person or persons. And while the Tomahawk missiles are touted for their accuracy, the Pentagon says three missiles did miss their mark and hit a residential area, killing eight people. Iraqi television has been flooding the airwaves with pictures of the wounded and showed thousands of Iraqis marching in the streets to protest the bombing. Western reporters say the demonstration was not spontaneous, but well orchestrated by the Iraqi government. Iraq continues to deny any involvement in the assassination plot. Iraq's ambassador to Japan says it doesn't make sense to kill a former president. Bush is a dead man politically. He is out. He has no power at all. So why assassinate him? A new USA Today CNN Gallup poll finds 66% of Americans who were questioned approve of the attack. More than half thought it was an appropriate response. But more than half are now worried about more terrorism in the United States. But President Clinton says the message to the Iraq is a message to others really as well. Facts. And I think other terrorists around the world need to know that uh, the United States will do what we can to combat terrorism. And just to back up those words, the president is moving the aircraft carrier Roosevelt into the Red Sea just to add some U.S. muscle to the region. The president says he would like to get back to his domestic agenda now, specifically the budget on Capitol Hill and the economic summit that's coming up next week in Tokyo. I'm Wendy Rieger reporting live from the White House. Back to you, Sue, Matt. Wendy, thank you very much. Former President Bush continues to have no public reaction to Saturday's attack on Iraq. At his summer home in Kennebunkport, Maine, the former president made it clear he wants to stay out of the spotlight. But I, don't, I really am not going to do any interviews or say anything about anything. Life goes on. I'm a private citizen, and it's the most wonderful feeling. President Bush went on to say he's trying to show that uh, you can be president and then return to a normal life. And a White House spokesperson is saying a reported Iraqi plot to assassinate retired General Norman Schwarzkopf would be very unwise. The former Desert Storm commander who led the troops that expelled Iraq from Kuwait has been placed under a heavy guard. Police and Army troops are reportedly watching his home in Tampa, Florida. The White House has also said it would respond to any attack on General Schwarzkopf.